Hi everyone. Welcome back to another mini lesson video uh, for your opinion writing unit. Um, today, it sounds like your drafting is getting close to done. And if you're like me, you have three paragraphs that explain each of the reasons you included in your thesis. Now, it's time to write an introduction, which is why you're here. And you might be asking, Mrs. Wingers, shouldn't I write the introduction first? Because that's like the first thing in my writing. And the answer to that young child is no. No, it, it actually makes more sense to write your introduction once your paragraphs are drafted. And let me tell you why. If you write your introduction, is that if that is the first thing you write, then you don't really have all of your ideas fleshed out. Okay, so it makes a lot more sense to do your drafting of your reasons, get those paragraphs all written, get them pretty strong. And so you have a really good idea of like a vision of your whole speech and it's going to make your introduction go a lot faster. So or not faster, but it like it'll just feel better to write it. So for me, I'm writing about Greta Thunberg and I wrote out my three reasons why well, first I did my thesis statement, which is here. Then I wrote, um, I took the three reasons from my thesis statement and I wrote long about each one. So I have that here. Now, I want to think about the big picture, right? I want to make an introduction paragraph that's going to capture my reader's attention or my listener's attention. I want it to um, want people to listen to want to listen more right if i have a boring introduction people are just gonna tune out right they're gonna go mm, sound off <laughs> so i want to think of something a way to catch the reader's attention um and then i also want to include my thesis statement my thesis statement should be like the last sentence in my introduction it's the it's like the bridge from the introduction to the paragraphs. Um, so it's kind of like a transition. So I need to start, here's how introduction goes. You start, hey, bang, here's something important. Everyone listen to me. You say a little bit about that thing and then you end with your thesis statement, all right? And that's kind of the structure about, uh, that uh, for the introduction. So I'm gonna write that on my paper and I'm gonna go ahead and draft it. Okay, so here I have kind of the outline of a good introduction. We usually grab an attention, we say a little bit more, and then we end with the thesis. And then I thought, well, let me just start drafting. But as I thought about what I might want to say, I thought I better check and see how some other people do it. So that's what we're going to do first. I'm going to show you three clips of other kids and how they do their introductions. <laughs> And over the next few minutes, I'm going to teach you that it's okay to be different. Since a young age, I've worn different colored socks and two different shoes. Why? Because I am unique. A standout from the crowd. I feel best when I am being me. Hi. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that we ignore each and every day. A power nested deep inside of us that differentiates us from every other living creature. But before that, I want to ask you something. What do you see here? A bee. Yes, we all agree that it's a bee. I asked this question to a group of people and they all replied saying that it was a bee. But what if I told you that you were wrong? Would you believe me? Well, when you ask me that question, through my eyes, I see more than just a bee. This small, mere creature is more than just a bee. Without it, thousands of plants around the world would go unpollinated. The rate of fruits and vegetables produced would reduce, causing famine. Hi, my name is Miriam Alasna. This is my fourth year in Amena Academy School, and this is my first time to give a TED Talk. I will be talking about my idea how to unify the people of this world together so we can all live peacefully and stop fighting over our differences and focus more on our similarities. 
It all started one day when I went to the park after school. I didn't have anyone to play with. And then this girl came. She was so quiet and shy. My mom saw her and said, why won't you go and talk to that girl? Then you can play together. I thought it was a good idea. Once I went to the girl, asking her if she would like to play with me, she looked at me with her eyes wide open. Suddenly, she seemed confused and stared at me like I was an alien. I stared at her back. Then she said with a foreign accent, Why are you dressed that way? You look weird. I felt sad because she was judging me on what I was wearing. And so I